Aloha and good day, friends and yogis. I'm Nicole Spirit, and we've got Puka Dog, special guest in the house. I hope you're doing well today. This is a class to honor the full moon in Libra. It's in the month of Aries. Um, so this is the first full moon of the astrological new year, which is considered the beginning of spring, the March 20th spring equinox. So I'm super honored to be here with you today. I just felt the need to do this class because the energies are big right now. There's all of these new planetary alignments that are happening and I personally have needed extra practice uh, just to help feel more grounded. Um, my sleep has been really disturbed and just checking in with the so-called metaphysical community. It feels like there's just a lot of things going on. So if you have a blanket or a towel or even a block that you like to sit on, you can bring that under your hips at this time and just maybe even pull back the flesh of the sitting bones and just get a sense of rooting and grounding into the earth. This is also a planet or time, I should say, the constellation of Libra is about honoring balance in life. So let's just find a little bit of balance now through uh, alternate nostril breathing technique, Nadi Shodan, it's called. So this is part of pranayama or life force breath control. So we're going to take our hand and make the shaka sign, basically curl the three fingers in and let the thumb and the baby fingers stick out. True story, this comes from a gentleman on Hawaii who accidentally cut off his three middle fingers in a sugar mill accident and he would still be so happy and he'd wave at people all the time. So um, I can't remember his name, I'll try to include it in the description. All right, so nostril, alternate nostril breathing. We're gonna pinch off our right nostril and inhale through the left. Pinch off your left nostril and exhale through the right. Then stay like this, inhale right. Pinch it off and exhale left. You can close your eyes, inhale left. Notice if one side is more clogged than the other, it totally happens, exhale right. Try not to have your elbows smooshed into your side body, inhale right nostril. Pinch it off, exhale left. This is said to balance the hemispheres of the brain. Inhale, left. Pinch that off, exhale, right. You might notice that the breath makes like a horseshoe pattern. Inhale, right. Pinch it off, exhale, left. Last half round, inhale left. Pinch it off, exhale right. Good, release both hands, just breathe normally through both nostrils now. I notice right away that I get super chill when I do this breath, so if you can, you can do 10 rounds every morning. So breathing normally, a good cycle of inhale and exhale. And remember when we slow down the inspiration, the expiration to about six or seven counts per interval that we actually tune into the part of our body that knows how to rest and repair and rejuvenate and to just really go in time with the currents. So the next thing we're gonna do is a breath that is just pinching off the left nostril. 
So you can take your thumb or your index finger, we're gonna pinch off the left nostril and we're gonna inhale through the right four rounds. So as you probably know, when you're inhaling and exhaling through one nostril, you're honoring the opposite lobe of the brain. So this is an empowerment for the left lobe of the brain. Go at your own pace. Again, notice <laughs> if you need to blow your nose or if there's any congestion, it's totally normal. And the left brain is responsible for language. It's considered more of a data processor in the human body. And it really likes to categorize things from past and future and basically be very controlling. And it likes to take over all the stuff. Good. Then just pause for a moment, see how you feel. I notice now that my left nostril is actually a bit more open. Then we're going to pinch off the right nostril. So I'll use my thumb, inhale through the left, four breaths or five. Now the right brain basically is the artist, the dreamer. So I want you to remember to daydream every day. Notice your life, notice you have a more analytical, type of processing and that's totally fine. But when we empower the right hemisphere of the brain, we come into the musician, the artist, the part of us that's really present in this moment, the part of us that feels connected, like there's no separation between me and the dog and you and the plants and the sky. There's an amazing TED Talk by Jill Bolt Taylor. One more breath. And I highly recommend watching it. Just type in Jim, Jill Bolt Taylor TED Talk. Now release that right nostril and just breathe normally through both sides. Again, encouraging balance in the hemispheres of the brain. And when you want to encourage that beautiful dreamer, that sweet energy that feels connected to bliss, to joy, to heaven, you want to take um, your nostril, your basically take off, sorry, you want to pinch off the left nostril so that the right brain gets all of that extra love and that energy. All right. I'm super like chill now, so I'm going to stay with it as a teacher to empower you to bring in your own inner wisdom, inner teacher, your higher self, also known as the energy at the third eye. Arms are going to extend beside you. Let's just breathe normally, enjoying hopefully some new fresh passageways through the nostrils. We're going to take the right arm down and float the left arm up. And we're just going to go from side to side. See if it still feels comfortable to sit on a towel. And because we're in Libra, in this very powerful month of Aries, we're going to empower that. We're bringing in balance and groundedness and rootedness and also a sense of reaching our leaves up into the sky. Maybe you're living in a place where the cherry blossoms or the trees are starting to bloom, the flowers are starting to open. That's where I am right now. If I look out the window, there's a beautiful magnolia that's blooming. Let's do one more to each side. Maybe a little bit of a smile on your face. Good. And then we're gonna balance out. Just leave the arms shoulder height. We're going to bend at the elbows, take the thumb and the middle finger together, and we're going to do a spinal twist here, but a dynamic or quick one. So turn left on your inhale and turn right on your exhale. And if it's available, close your eyes. Sounds a bit weird, but look in and upwards at the middle of your brain, like your eyeballs are drawing in. 
If that doesn't feel comfortable, that's totally fine. You can leave your eyes open or even keep the gaze a little bit down. Breathe, smile. And if it feels comfortable, you can speed it up even more. Feel this amazing twist in the middle of your body. And I want you to think about two beautiful balancing phrases. Thank you, I love you. Thank you, I love you. If your arms and shoulders are getting a little sore, you can always angle your elbows down a little bit. But let's just do this for 30 more seconds. Challenge yourself, see if it's available. If it's too much to go fast, just hang out on one side and then on the other. But if you can, thank you, I love you. Say it inside. These are the first two phrases of the Hawaiian act known as Ho'oponopono, which is said to be a fancy way, a Hawaiian way of saying conflict resolution or to set things right. Last 10 seconds. Let's slow it down. Three, two, and one. Come back to center. Pause for a moment. One full breath, holding your arms like this. We've got the thumb and middle for finger together for patience mudra. Good, and sweep those arms down. I know I've got a little bit of a feeling in my shoulders, so just notice what's happening for you and hopefully you're feeling good. So the four most important phrases in the Ho'oponopono system are thank you, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me. And you can also interchange that with I forgive myself. So very important. So if anything's going wrong in life, choose one or all of those statements and say them over and over again until you find peace and harmony. And you can study more about this system. It's extremely healing. Let's bring the arms out to the side. We're going to do four ha breaths, the second part of the word aloha, and also known as the heart healing sound. It's also known as the breath of life. We're going to do our butterfly or moth wings. Inhale up, going from a caterpillar into the cocoon. Imagining that we're transforming with our imaginal cells. <sighs> One more breath. And maybe we're turning into a beautiful robin moth, <sighs> which I just painted a picture of the caterpillar and the moth last night. I'll include it with the pictures that go with this class. So just pause for a moment. I want you to close your eyes and just be in a state of gratitude for a few more moments. We wrap up puka in the blanket. Puka puka. This is my little girl that I give thanks for every day. Finn's out on his pack walk, but puka is a bit more of a reactive dog, especially with other dogs. So she doesn't get to go with five other dogs on big hikes. She gets to stay with her mom and film yoga classes. All right, so wherever you are, I want you to reach your legs out long. You can come off of your towel or beautiful come home blanket. We've got one around Puka and one that I'm sitting on. Elevate the hips, stretch with the legs long and give yourself a little shaker bounce. I'm going to pick three cards today from OT's different decks, otart.com. She's my art teacher. I love these cards, and these are actually a collection that I've been putting together for 11 years. And I just ordered her newest set of cards. I'll put the link in the description. First card, break the rules, make your own. The next one, honor your sisters. And this one's funny because Finn chewed the corner of it when we got Finn from Kauai three years ago. Don't 
waste time. I love these. So, depending on how well you know me, let's uh, pause with the legs. You'll know that I quit a bad habit after 30 years, and I just hit the four month mark. So draw your right knee in, and that card, don't waste time, really resonates with me. So we're going to do a spinal twist now. Take your right uh, left arm and wrap it around your right knee. You can hold on to your wrist on the right side. You can also bring your right hand behind you and maybe even take the gaze gently over your shoulder. So I want you to think about, you know, we're in these powerful times, especially of manifesting your daydreams, your goals, your wishes. So think about, and this is totally cool, how we waste time in life and whether there's an appropriate time for you to release any bad habits now or to shift into something a little bit more positive. Good, float back to center, sit up with a tall spine, your dunda, your spinal column. And before we transfer this leg down, we're going to bring it up and over our left knee. So as, as much as you can, bring your foot towards your hip. And then we're gonna do just a little bit of a forward fold. This is called half shoelace. So reach your arms forwards, and as soon as I do that, I feel a very powerful stretch in the back of my left hamstring. And that's exactly what I want you to feel. You can walk your hands over to the left a little bit, keep them center, walk them to the right, Come back to center, again, just a little bit of a forward fold. You're not dropping your head, you're bringing your chest and your belly towards that top bent knee. Good, and you're feeling this brilliant stretch in the back of the legs. Come back up gently, let's release that right leg, straighten it out to the floor, and just pause for a moment. Notice your posture, remember that when you engage the spine, that's one of the most attractive things that you can do is be in a really presentable, beautiful posture. Then we're gonna draw that left knee in and up and just see how you're feeling today. Maybe this is enough for you, just giving your leg or knee a bit of a hug. Maybe you give your knee a kiss or kiss the back of your hand. Keep it super simple. All right, that's another reminder in life. So spinal twist, take your big arm, right arm, wrap it around your knee, Give yourself a little bit of a hug. Sit up nice and tall. Smile and breathe. I love this don't waste time card. And I love break the rules, make your own. You know, one of the rules I had to break in my life was that I needed a big giant triple espresso coffee every morning. And it's been a year now, left arm reaches behind you. And I haven't drank coffee. I've had a couple of, um, coffees in the last year, but as far as waking up, having a big coffee, having a big, you know, ritual around needing this psychoactive drug every morning, caffeine, which I've been addicted to for like 35 years. It just feels really good. And truthfully, my psychic powers, my intuition have grown immensely in this last year, letting that go. All right, let's come back to center. Pause with that nice tall spine and take the left foot up and over the right knee. This is a perfect place to be, but if you can bring your foot a little bit closer to your right hip or somewhere along the right thigh, then you're gonna also feel this nice stretch in the back of your right hamstring. Reach your arms forward, stay with that tall length in your spinal column, and then gently start to lower down. As soon as you get to a place where you feel the stretch in the back of the leg, then you've reached your perfect position. Oh my gosh, Pukul looks like such a cute little burrito, like a donut. All right, so hanging out here, then walk your hands over to the right. Notice the three main components or parts of your back of your thigh on the right, and notice which part maybe you're getting the best stretch. For me, I notice it the most in the middle, so I want you to hang out for one more breath in the spot that feels 
really, I don't want to say tight, but the spot that maybe your body could use it the most. And by the way, we have an open high by today on the hibiscus flower on the plant. You can't quite see it, but it is, it's there. I love when they open, it's such a dream come true. Come to sit up nice and tall again, gently we'll release that left leg, give them a shake again, and then we're going to spiral the feet behind us. So bend the knees, bring your body onto all fours, and here's a nice spot to take your blanket or towel. I've got the most beautiful come home blanket for under the knees. These are blankets from my Ecuadorian sisters. All right, hands are under your shoulders, knees are under the hips. And we're going to just wag our tail. So bring your hips from side to side, wagging the tail. And this feels really good to have this blanket cushioning the knees. Now come back to center, reach your right leg out long, and I want you to slide the toes to the left, and I want you to look over, so nice long spine, look over your left shoulder and see if you can glance at your toes. Feel this really nice opening in the right side body. Notice your imbalancing position here. So finding that balance of conscious and subconscious, matter and spirit, day and night, sun and moon. Good, come back to center, bring the foot back, bring the head back straight, release that knee, and then we'll do the same thing. Left leg extends long, do up that belly zipper. It's called the conception vessel in Chinese medicine, and it's a meridian that runs up the front of the body. So I want you to slide your toes to the right now, and then really feel that nice stretch along the left side of your torso, and glance or look over your shoulder at your foot. Hang out for one more breath, smile and breathe. Beautiful work. And then we're gonna slowly come back to center, or we can call it beautiful play. Let's release that knee, let's do a child's pose. Open the knees wider, sink your hips down, and I like to stack my fists. Rest the forehead on your hands. And of course, you can take the variation where you reach your arms out long, Honor what's best for you today and just simply notice what's been going on in life for you, especially in the last three months. Remembering that the true new year is said to be March 20th, the spring or fall equinox, depending on where you live on this beautiful Gaia Earth planet. Gaia is said to be the spirit of the earth. Good, bring your hands back down under your shoulders, lift the body up. We're gonna curl the toes under, we're gonna lift the back side of the body. And as you come into downward dog, really press the ground away with your hands. And I want you to bend at each knee one at a time and walk your dog. So you're still continuing to lift the hips, then pause and really bend your knees. And then I want you to lower down a little bit more. Stretch out your arms long and keep your upper body really close to the ground. This is called rocket cat. So we're honoring the cat and the dog, good. Then start to walk your feet up towards your hands. And when you get close, let your body dangle, so pick up the upper body. Let your whole upper body just swing and sway, and you can even bend your knees a little bit. So if you have a block, this is a nice place to take it. I also have a little crystal that I'm going to put on the third eye as we do our last couple of minutes of meditation. If you don't have a block, that's totally fine. But if you do, you can put your block anywhere underneath the center line of your body and place your right hand on the block. Then we're gonna take our left arm up and over, come into a spinal twist, and if it's available, straighten through the left knee a little bit. If not, no worries, keep the knees bent, and another variation to back off is just keep your hand on your hip. One more breath, 
Feel this nice extension. You can have the block at three different heights. Super cool. Good. And then bend that left knee again and lower the left hand. Let's switch hands. Put your left hand under the center line of your body. Reach your right arm up and notice if it's available to straighten a little bit more through the right leg. A little bit of a wiggle in the fingers. And I forgot to mention, or yet to mention, that we're listening to music that's set at 832 hertz, or cycles per second. Remember, you can also leave your hand on your hip. This is healing music that's said to activate your intuition, your inner knowing. Good, release your right hand, bend your right knee, and then we're gonna slowly come up to standing. So I'm just gonna move the blanket away a little bit. Roll your body up. Excellent. Let's find Tadasana Mountain Pose. Feet are under the hips. Bend your knees just a hint. Hands can float out in front. Sink your tailbone. Tip your chin down. This is called lining the body up. So we're in a Tadasana that's a little more of a Qigong or energy skills position from Chinese medicine. And this is just a wonderful way to stand, especially if you do spend a lot of time upright, just to honor that we're not rigid, but we're in a place where the joints are more supple and energy can float through the body. Notice with the chin down, the back of the neck stays nice and long. And we just hang here for a couple of breaths. If you're feeling vigorous and you want to stand like a tree, we would bring the arms up just a little under shoulder height. Fingers are open and we embrace the tree. This is called Zhang Zhuang which translates to stand like a tree. We're just gonna do this for three more breaths. So I want you to notice your body talking to you or saying that it doesn't necessarily wanna be here any longer and that's okay. However you feel right now is perfect. Just let yourself be. can have that sense of contentment, a little bit of smile, a bit of a smile on the face. And if we can hold this for just even one minute a day, just building up our energy, this is actually a beautiful way to increase the intention of your own body having a smooth orbit of energy. This is called the microcosmic orbit. You don't even have to force it or think about it, just allow it to naturally smooth out. The cool thing about this is that it becomes part of the macrocosmic orbit, which is the energy that's floating all around us, that's especially strong through nature, through the earth energy, and through the cosmos or universe energy. Can you hold for one more breath? And as you build up, you can get to five minutes or 10 minutes. My teacher holds for 20 minutes a day. I'm still building my Zhang Zhuang, <laughs> standing like a tree. Good, release down. I know that's intense. Let's shake our tree now. So this is my favorite Qigong move. You just shake and feel your whole body releasing any stored tension. You can raise and lower through the heels. And I always love when my guardian angel comments on my classes. So special shout out to you. I love you. And remembering in our Hawaiian system of setting things right, those beautiful four statements we can say to everybody. Thank you. I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Or, I forgive myself. Good, you can raise and lower the heels, one more breath, smiling and shaking. You can't be in a bad mood. That just makes me feel happy. So even if you do one thing every day, let it be this. 
Excellent. Slow down. Just feel your body. Notice how you're feeling. Bring your feet in towards each other. We're going to do standing one leg Tadasana for balance. Draw your right knee up. Draw your arms up. If you find that that's too intense, just leave your toes on the floor. Good. Do up that imaginary zipper, the conception vessel up the front line of your body. Look at something not moving. Notice if you're slouching. Try to stay really sweet and upright in your posture. Let's hold for one more breath. Excellent. Let's float the hands down. Then we're going to release that right leg. Now you have three options for your foot position for Vriksasana tree pose. You can leave those toes of the right foot up and along your left ankle. And this is a beautiful place to be. You can bring your foot along your calf. Again, notice if there's a bit of a slouch. Your left leg is super strong here. Now you want to avoid pushing in the knee, they're precious joints and they're very hard to replace. If you do choose to bring the leg up, again, notice that the pose starts before you even draw your foot up. I of course use my hand to place my foot along the instep of the left thigh and it's like there's two forces, the namaste balance, pushing each other, pulling each other a little bit, so the balance between the foot and the thigh. So choose your best position. You can raise up the arms. You can even climb the tree here. And I want you to be humbled. If you come out of balance, that's okay. You know what I heard though? My back had a little pop there. I'm honoring and being humble with where my best position is today. And climbing the tree is no joke. This is hard to do, balancing and moving at the same time. Super good for your brain and your body and your mind-body connection. Good, wherever you are, release your hands down. I want you to hold for one more breath and I want you to close your eyes just for even a split second maybe for a whole breath. And just notice how you have to play with that balance. All right, release, open the eyes, release that right leg, give it a shake, and then we'll do the left side. So right leg is standing, nice and strong. Oh, that sun feels good. Pooka's like, where can I get more sun? <laughs> All right, so let's just do standing one leg Tadasana. So standing one leg mountain, bring your knee up and if it's available feel that nice contraction in the core your whole body is strong otherwise just leaving the toes on the floor look at something to hold your drishti or your gaze your balance and if you like you can float the arms up into full volcano mountain one leg volcano and are you feeling the energy of madame pele the volcano goddess of hawaii and just feeling and sensing this blood coursing through your own body, feeling alive, feeling a sense of joy for life and showing up for yourself. And if you're in a bad mood, go for a walk, have a drink of water or shake your tree. One more breath, wherever you are. I love this balance we're doing. You're so strong. Good, release the arms down, bring your toes down to the floor Stay strong in that right leg. Toes can be on the ground on the left side, so finding your tree pose on the left. Foot wraps nicely around the calf here. This is super amazing for balance. I'm going to humble myself and put the foot all the way up at the thigh, just pushing the thigh into the foot. Noticing this actually starts at the core. It's not just the legs that are doing balancing here. This is your whole body. And then if it's available, you can reach the arms up. Option, you don't have to climb the tree. Notice if one side is easier to hold or maintain balance. You can look up. I am strong, but say this to stay balanced. I am soft. Both are beautiful. One more breath. 
There we go. Wherever you are, release your arms, come to Namaste or Anjali Mudra, and I want you to close your eyes and hold for as long as you can for one more breath. Humbling and honoring, I am balanced. I flow effortlessly in the great energy river of life. <laughs> All right, release your hands, release your left foot, give it a shake. You can shake it front, side, and back. Good. One more standing pose. We're going to step the right foot forwards, the left foot back, and we're going to come into a little bit of a lunge here. So if you feel this is too much for you, you can always lower down on that left knee. If it's available, stay up. We're going to reach the arms out to a T shoulder height, and we're going to twist to the right. So bringing yourself to look over your right side body. You can bounce a little in that lunge. This is no joke. This is an intense stretch. One more breath. Good. Bring the arms back to center, hands together. We're going to power up through the legs, step up with that left leg nice and strong, and then we're going to take our right foot and step back. Curl the toes under here or lower down onto the knee. See what feels right. Give yourself a little bounce. Get grounded and rooted. Notice yourself looking at something to maintain your balance. Arms out to the sides. You can stay here as well. If it's available, maybe try and twisting to the left and coming into this really cool variation of your lunge, twisted lunge. Smile and breathe. Feel this amazing stretch. Remember not to overstretch or overdo it. If it's painful, it's not yoga. So honor what you need today. Good, slowly make it back to center. Hands can come together, and then we're going to power up through that right leg, step up, and come to standing. Beautiful. Let's do one more forward fold. We'll have the legs nice and wide now, and then we're going to lower our upper body down to the floor. You can place your hands dangling on the block again, or even hands under the shoulders. Always an option to widen your feet a little bit. Get your head below your heart. Another option is to bring the block under your head if you want to come down this far. And yet another option is to reach your hands out to your ankles or feet. You can always have your knees a little bit bent here. Let's hang out for one more breath. See where you need the stretch hopefully in the back of the thighs, but also just letting your body loosen and soften. Good. Wherever we are, release the block. Toe heel, walk your feet in one time, and then strong core to stand back up. Raise your arms overhead. We're gonna look to the left. We're gonna come down that left leg. Come back up. Go to center and go turn to the right. Come down the leg. Again, knee can be a little bit bent or a lot. Hold the stretch for a moment and then come back up. Come to center, release your arms. Toe heel, walk your feet together. Come to about shoulder width apart and let's finish off by opening the door of life, spiraling the arms from side to side. Gently smile, look over your shoulder. The hands should tap into the front and back of the body around the belt channel, where you would typically wear a belt. And we're giving yourself like a little love tap. Thank you, I love you. Thank you, I love you. A little soft smile of the face. And this helps to also squeeze out any tension. It helps to really invigorate your spine and honor who and what you are, your dreams, and all of the good mana for our manifestation. 
Good, slow it down. Come back to center. Let's lower all the way to the floor or to the mat. Just see how you're lowering down. Again, no judgment. Just really honoring what you need today. So you've got a couple of options. You can use your block as a pillow. You can also have your blanket close by to cover up. I'm also gonna take my crystal dolphin with me to bring onto my forehead for a little short meditation in our Shavasana. So if you do have a blanket close by and you'd like to cover yourself up, you can start before you've even come down to the floor. We can take our arms out front, temple mudra, last three fingers interlaced, thumb and index pointing out, and I want you to lower as slowly as you can to the mat. No crashing, just really honoring, letting your spine down with intention, grace, and ease. And if you've never tried a block or a little pillow under your head, this is super nice. We're gonna finish off here, so maybe you open your feet a little bit wider. Position your block or pillow if you wish. And if you do have a crystal, doesn't matter if you don't, you could always just gently place it over your forehead, on your third eye area, just a little bit above and between the two eyebrows. Palms can face up or down. You can be under your blanket fully. Close your eyes and deepen your breath. And for a few minutes, we'll go into a gratitude practice, a meditation. This is a beautiful thing to do anytime, but especially nice to do when you're going to sleep at night. Or if you wake up in the middle of the night and you can't sleep, do this form of what's called yoga nidra, a meditation to soothe and quiet all the parts of your body one after the other. So with a long smooth breath, we'll focus on our feet and imagine that the moonlight and the sunshine is grounding and healing and nourishing our feet. You might feel a warmth or a bit of a tingle. And notice too if there's any area of your body that needs healing or is repairing or recovering or going through anything that you can concentrate this light at that spot. And like an iridescent stream of healing, like liquid sunshine and liquid moonshine, we're going to imagine this light floating up the feet into the ankles and into the calves and into the knees, like the swirling, soothing, graceful peacefulness. We feel the bones soothing. We feel the skin and the muscles and even the blood in our body feels more peaceful and harmonious. And then we float this healing wave, this intention up the legs, into the thighs, into the muscles, into the bones, and into the hips. Feel this energy swirling and soothing around the pelvis, in the low back, in the sacrum. And then it's starting to float now up your body, maybe even making the cells 12 years younger, activating your dormant DNA, and tuning you into the super soul that you are having this amazing human experience. Feeling light and love going into your organs from the bottom through the intestines into the liver and the gallbladder and stomach and spleen, and the kidneys and bladder into the pancreas and floating up and up 
the torso, into the spine, in between and through and into each and every bone of your whole spinal column. And this energy rejuvenates and soothes you. It goes into the lungs, into the heart, up the front, up the back, soothing all the way up into the neck and down the shoulders and arms into the hands, floating back up into the neck and into the head as though there's now just a beautiful soft twilight energy in your whole brain. And maybe you focus and see like a starry night sky, just one glowing planet or glowing light in the middle of your brain. Imagine that your intuition, your inspiration is increased and releasing any confusion or doubt. And then this soft, soothing light of sunshine and moonlight floats all the way around your whole skull and out the top of the head. And your whole body is gently buzzing now with a higher vibration of perfect peace, love and compassion you feel soothed and nurtured, balanced. Imagine now your aura glowing all around your body now, your electromagnetic field. And imagine that it's strong and soft, removing any implants or negative energy that have been put there through you or external forces throughout all of history and your time in this soul body. Allowing yourself to shine. Imagine you're vibrating at the most beautiful frequency, connecting with all that is good and knowing that your vibration is reaching for the light. You're deeply rooted and grounded Yet you've got this beautiful energy like a tree with its leaves that are all in flower right now. So these blooming flowers reaching for the heavens, for the cosmos, for that magical star or planet that you are connected with in the center of your mind. You are the pearl. You are the oyster, you are all of it, and you are perfect just the way you are. So remember your free health care in life. Take deeper breaths, eat nourishing, wholesome foods, and try to laugh and smile every day. Feel or connect with sparks of joy as you go through the ebb and flow of life. Take all the time you need here. Imagine having a great day, maybe even experiencing a miracle or some spark of joy. And then imagine having a really peaceful, beautiful sleep tonight. Your body is now rejuvenated 12 years younger. So wherever you are, let's start to come into this space and time again, feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Gently remove any objects on your face, like a crystal or maybe an eye cover. Feel and sense maybe a wisdom, even if it's an imaginary crystal that you can carry around in your heart pocket or in your real pockets like you've got this like gem that you can hang on to to remember your truth and your wellness your harmony we're going to wiggle the fingers and toes and gently roll onto the side then take all the time you need be light as a feather and push the ground away you can continue to have your 
your blanket wrapped around you or gently just float into your most comfortable seated position. Maybe the eyes remain a little bit or a lot closed. Feel a gentle, contented smile on your face, coming into balance with the times that are going on right now, knowing that when you take deep breaths, you're tuning into the life force energy that's free for you. And if you need a beautiful mantra, thank you, I love you. I'm sorry, I forgive myself. Choose one or all that are appropriate for your healing at this time. And remember the Aloha spirit that is in the waft or breath of life all around us all the time. And try to find the beauty in every day. Thank you so much for joining. I have huge gratitude for you and I appreciate myself and you and all of nature and the earth and the heavens. Let's float the hands to the heart, bow the chin and head just a little bit. We dedicate the merits of our practice to all sentient beings. May all beings be relieved of their suffering and may we dwell together with great fruitfulness and harmony. The light in me greatly honors and sees the light in you. Namaste. Sending you healing orbs of love and light and contentment. And I wish you a really nice. Thank you, friends. See you next time.